Hey guys, I'm Dustin and today we're going to have women five foot one to six feet get fit and test ride the Every Journey electric tricycle. Stick around. So this is the electric tricycle you're going to see in the video today. This is the 630 Every Journey 250 watt electric tricycle. It has a 250 watt front hub motor. This is going to take you up to top speeds of about 16 to 18 miles an hour by just pushing the throttle here on the handlebars. In addition, you have pedal assist. Um, if you want to do pedal assist, your top speed is going to be anywhere from 16 to 20 miles an hour. With this electric tricycle, you have three options. You can either ride it just like a regular tricycle. You can keep the motor off or you can use the pedal assist where when you pedal, the motor gives you assistance. Or lastly, you can push this throttle here and let the trike do all the work. You don't have to pedal or do anything. In addition to that, with the battery, you're going to get anywhere from about 15 to 50 miles of range. Now, there's a huge variance because it depends on a lot of factors like the rider weight, the conditions, and also how you use the bike. Meaning, if you use pedal assist, what level do you use? If you use level five, that's the most assistance, you will drain the battery quicker. Also, if you use the throttle, that will drain the battery quicker. Generally speaking, you can get about 15 miles if you just use the throttle, and you could get up to 50 miles if you use the pedal assist, depending on how you use the pedal assist and what levels. We've actually test rode this before and just used the throttle. Me, I personally, I weigh 215 pounds and I got ex in excess of 20 miles throttle only. Now, in addition, you have the large basket in the rear, the comfort bucket saddle, the beautiful design. You have an easy step through frame here. And you also have an ergonomic riding position. So when you get on, your back is going to be upright, your arms are going to be relaxed, and you're going to be in a perfect ergonomic position to keep your upper body nice and relaxed. That's going to equate to a very pain-free, easy ride. So you can go on those longer 15, 20, 25 mile rides and not feel any pain. So this is the 630 Every Journey electric tricycle 250 watt. Okay, now I'm here with Cowdy. She's five foot one, 26 inch inseam and 18 inch arm length. So go ahead and get on the bike for us, Cowdy. And let's go ahead and get it fit to you. One of our smallest, shortest inseams today. So we're gonna see now how we can adjust for her height. So we've got the seat pretty low. I think that actually looks great for her uh, leg length. Um, and the handlebars, how does that feel? We can actually maybe tilt these up a little bit for you. So make sure to hold on to the grips. And they're gonna drop. Now tilt them to where they feel good for you. I was thinking maybe like here, how's that? Yes. Good, okay. Okay, there we go. Perfect. So at five foot one, you can see we've got her in a nice ergonomic riding position. Her arms are nice and relaxed, and she's got good leg extension on the downstroke. So let's go see how Cowdy does on a test ride. All right, now Cowdy's up. You're uh, five foot one. She's ready for her test ride. Have you ever ridden a tricycle as an adult? First time. First time. Mm -hmm. uh, what about an electric bike? I think I did in Japan once. One time. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. And what's the last time you rode a regular bike? Oh my God, it's been a long time. <laughs> I don't even remember. Okay, no problem. Okay, so tricycles are different than regular bikes. You have the balance of the wheels, so you don't have to balance the bike. Okay. One thing is sometimes people have the tendency for the steering wheel to come to either direction, so just make sure you got to keep the wheels straight. Okay. Um, and when you go into the turns, I just like when people are test riding, don't pedal. So slow down and turn nice and slow. When you've completed the turn, you can start pedaling again and try to lean a little bit into the direction in which you're turning. Like, so if you're turning left, just lean a little bit. Um, and um, and uh, yeah, that's basically it. And then keep one of your hands, like with the brake, when you're riding, keep it like that. Mm -hmm. So you're just ready to use the brake if you should need it. Got it. And so just start pedaling. We'll do the first run with no electricity. And then once you're comfortable, I'll put the electric on for okay. you. And you can go right up to about the red bus and then make a U-turn. <laughs> and then go ahead and turn. Yeah, go ahead and turn it. 
There you go. So you just got to trust that the balance will be there. <laughs> perfect. And then just stay right over here. Stay right over here. Perfect. Perfect. And then go over this way a little bit, and then you're going to make one more U-turn. All right. All right. Now come back towards me and make a U-turn. Perfect. Okay, now come I to a stop. Okay. All right, now we're going to put on the electric for you. You're going to love it even more. Okay, now you've got two options. You're in level one. So when you pedal, the bike is going to assist you automatically, or you can push this. Go ahead and let off the brakes. Oh, sorry, let off. There you go. It's going to go automatically. Oh. <laughs> so if you want to go ahead and do the same thing, just, yeah, go ahead and push the... Push. You can hold it down. Wow. Now let off a little bit and get ready. There you go. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> now you can wow. make a U-turn. Okay. And you can pedal. When you pedal, it's going to do it too. Did you feel that kick Yes, in? I feel it. Keep it wow. over here. Same thing. You can go back. <laughs> get ready to break. There you go. There you go. If you want, you can do one more lap down to the yes. red bus. <laughs> wow, that fast. Wow, this is good. Oh, Oops. Go that way. You can feel the assistance, huh? Yes. Cool. If you want to come to a stop. Was it fun? It was very <laughs> fun. Wow. Cool. All right, well, Cowdy figured it out <clears throat> and she had fun on her test ride. Let's move on to our next rider. Okay, now I'm here with April. April's five foot two. She has a 29 inch inseam and 19 inch arm length. If you want to go ahead and get on the bike for us, April, we'll see how we can get it fit to your body. Okay, so actually the seat seems a little bit too low. April has actually a taller inseam for her height. So I think we need to raise the seat up a little bit for you. So you want to get off again. Okay, and you can see at five foot two, even for April, it's easy to mount and dismount the bike. Okay. Okay. Try that. I think that's going to be a little bit better for you. Yeah. Perfect. And then in terms of the handlebars, how does that feel? Uh, feels good actually. Let me see. We're going to loosen this. Hold on to those grips because okay. it's going to drop. Okay. Now you can kind of play with it a little bit. Do you like oh, okay. it a little? Yeah. I think that might be a little better. Yeah. You're right. Actually. Okay. It does feel more comfortable. Cool. Yeah. Just get her arms in a little more of a relaxed position. Now, again, with these four custom adjustment points, it's really easy to dial it in for varying heights. So now we've got a nice bend in her arms. Her back is totally upright. She's in a great ergonomic, relaxed riding position. I think she's all set to take a test ride. Mm -hmm. Okay, now April's all set up for her test ride. So have you ever ridden a tricycle as an adult? No, I have not. And uh, when's the last time you rode a regular bike? Uh, I ride bikes frequently, and okay. I also do a spin class. Okay, yeah. cool. Um, have you ever ridden an electric bike? No, never. never. Okay. I'm excited. So tricycles are different than bikes. No matter how much experience you have on a two wheel bike, it kind of translates to a tricycle, but kind of doesn't. So a couple things is you're going to want to keep the wheel straight. Sometimes it tends to pull in certain directions for people. When you come into the turns, lean a little bit in the direction that in which you're turning. Okay. Um, in addition, don't pedal through the turn, coast through the turn, and when you come out of the turn, you can start pedaling. Okay. Um, and then just keep one hand kind of ready on the brake in case you should need it. Like not pulling it, but just your fingers are, you know, there. Okay. Um, I've done a lot of test rides with tricycles and I'm, I get more and more nervous. That's why some of the tips I'm giving today, once you get comfortable, you can pedal into the turns, you can do that. Just takes adjustment, getting used to the body transfer of the weight and uh, the feel of a trike. So okay. if you want, you can just go in a straight line, just start pedaling like normal. Once you get up to the red bus, you can make a U-turn. Okay. All right, there you go, you got it. Oh, oh this is fun. <laughs> so if you want to do the same thing, make a U-turn, but try to stay on this side of the Ks. Okay. Just because there's a little dip right here. Oh, oh. whoa. There you go. <laughs> so it's easy to maneuver if you feel a little yeah quick turn there you uh -huh. go okay so stop right there okay now 
We're gonna show you the electric. So don't use the electric into the turns. Like I said, I want you to slow down. When you come out of the turns, you can pedal, you'll feel the assistance, or you can go ahead and let off the brake for a sec, or you can just do this. Oh, I, I've never, <laughs> okay, this is my first time. So let's try this. So, okay, I think I got it. You can just ease into it too, if you want. Just go ahead and let off the brake and just okay. push that a little bit, just a little. Oh. Yeah, there you go. Oh my goodness, this is so awesome. <laughs> Now, can I pedal while I'm using the electric? Uh, you can pedal and the, you don't need to push that. If you just oh. pedal, you'll feel it kick in. Oh, how cool. So you can do both. Okay. Either or, yep. And shall I turn? Yep, go ahead and turn, make a lap. You'll feel that assistance help you. Go, go in over here back. That way you give okay. yourself some space. There you go. Oh, this is too cool. Yeah. Yep, and then make another U-turn. All right. If you want, you can do one more lap. Can I go a little faster? Sure. Just make sure to be ready for that break if you need it. Oh yeah, it's so easy to figure out. Look at that. It can get up there pretty quick, huh? Yes, it goes <laughs> fast right away. Zero to 45, no just kidding. Cool. You can come to a stop. Perfect. All right, April figured it out. You were zooming there. Uh, in the parking lot, it's hard to get up to high speeds because of the terrain of it. But um, you can get up to about 18 miles an hour on this. So it's a lot wow, of fun. Yeah, it's awesome. Cool. Super fun. <laughs> so April knocked it out of the park. Let's move on to our next rider. OK, now I'm here with Mel. Mel is five foot three. She has a 30 inch inseam and 16 inch arm length. Mel, if you want to get on the bike for us, we'll see how we can get it fit to your body. Okay, perfect. Ooh. So actually the leg extension I think looks pretty good. The handlebars seem to be a little bit too tilted up for her. So we're gonna just tilt them down just slightly to relax your arms. So if, Oh yeah, that's better. Much better? Mm -hmm. Perfect. Okay. So you can see we've got the seat post a little bit lower than some of our taller riders, obviously. Um, we've got a nice even keeled tilt. And we've got her back totally upright and her arms nice and relaxed. She's in a great urban ergonomic position for riding. So let's watch her take a test ride. Okay, now Mel's all set for her test ride. Now, have you ridden a tricycle as an adult? Not as an adult. <laughs> Not as an adult. And have you ever ridden an electric bike? No. No, okay, cool. <laughs> so you've done neither. And when's the last time you rode a, rode a regular bike? Uh, about a month ago. Okay, cool. So riding a trike is definitely different. Um, Sometimes it has a tendency for people to pull this direction. So just keep the wheel straight. Okay. Make sure the tire stays straight. When you take turns, lean into the turn okay. a little bit. Mm -hmm. Also, when you're making the turn, don't pedal. Just coast through the turn. And when you're done making the turn, then start pedaling. And then just keep one of your hands with your fingers on this. Not, not engaged, just there ready. Mm -hmm. So if you have to pull the brake. And you're just going to do a straight line up to the bus, make a U-turn. We're going to start you without the electricity. And then once you're comfortable, you make a loop, we'll introduce the electricity. So okay. whenever you're ready. Turn it a little bit. There you go. There you go. And then you can stay right here, go straight. Oh. <laughs> yeah, just turn, turn, it, turn it to the right. Yeah. It's, <laughs> It's a different type of steering. It is. And then if you can make make your U-turn to the right, actually, it'd be easier. So turn to the right. Just trust the bike. It won't go anywhere. OK. There you go. Now pedal. Yep, perfect. All right, come to a stop right here. Good advice. Just trust, <laughs> just trust the bike. Exactly, yeah. No, it takes getting used to. OK, now we're going to put the electricity on. So. Mm -hmm. You're in level one. When you pedal, it's going to give you assistance. Mm -hmm. Or you can push this. Go ahead and t take. Go ahead and push that just a little bit right here with your thumb, just a little. The bike will start to move. You have to hold it down if you want to engage and let off to stop it. And then just be ready. So you can go up and do that. Okay. Or you can pedal and it will give you assistance as well. Yep. Make your turn. Wait till you come out of it just because it gets going. There you go. 
keep it straight right down here if you can. Yeah. There you go. Oh, hit the brakes. Yep. You want to make one more lap? Sure. <laughs> And then when you go up there, make a U-turn, just stop right in front of the camera. Okay. All right. Well, Mel nailed it. What'd you think? I love it. It was fun. You could feel the assistance in the motor. Yes. Yeah. Yes. It's so cool. <laughs> cool. Well, she figured it out, no problem. So let's move on to our next rider. Okay, now we're here with Catherine. She's five foot four. She has 30 inch inseam and 19 inch arm lengths, arm length. So Kath Catherine, if you want to hop on and we'll see how we can get it fit for you. So actually she's got pretty good leg extension right there. That looks not bad. How do the handlebars feel for you? Pretty good. Yeah, it feels awesome. Seat higher or lower or all good? I think you nailed it. I think this is good. <laughs> okay, cool. Well, we got her in a good ergonomic riding position. Her arms look relaxed. Uh, so we got it all set up for Catherine. So stick around. We'll let her take a test ride. Okay, now we have Catherine ready for her test ride. So Catherine, you have ridden an electric bike. I have, yeah. And, and do you have an electric? You have your own electric bike? I have my own electric bike. Okay, so you're familiar with using the electric while riding and the assistance and all that. But have you ridden a tricycle as an adult? Never, but this looks really fun. <laughs> okay, so you've never ridden an electric tricycle. No. Okay, so tricycles are a little bit different than bikes. Um, one piece of advice is just keep the wheel straight. For some people, it tends to pull in certain directions. Okay. When you take turns on the trike, don't pedal or use, don't pedal at all. Just coast through when you're done turning, then you can start pedaling. Okay. And when you're turning, you can trust the bike. You can turn as sharply as you want because the bike will stay balanced. Okay. And then one other suggestion is just lean a little bit into the turn while you're turning just to help keep the weight distribution. And don't pedal when I'm turning. Yeah, just like, okay. that way you go a little slower. And then we'll just keep one hand like sort of on the brakes when you're riding so you'll be ready to pull it at any point. Okay, got it. So you'll go up to the red bus and just make a U-turn, come back, stay out here, okay. and then U-turn back here. This is without the electric. Once you're comfortable on the trike, then I'll let you turn on the electric. Test drive, here we come. Yep, go for it. There oh, it is different. Yeah. Cool. All I right. like it. I could get used to this. <laughs> Yep, you can turn even sharper if you want. Turn the wheel, there you go. And then come to a stop right here and I'll turn the electricity on for you. Now on the electric bike you have, do you have a throttle? I do, Okay, yes. so it's gonna be the same thing, so I'll turn it on for you. I just recommend on the trike, again, when you're turning, don't use the, the electric or don't pedal or don't use the throttles because sometimes it can get away from people. Okay. Um, but go ahead, you can try it now. If you pedal, you'll have the assistance or you can do the throttle, Okay. either one. Here we go. <laughs> That's fun. Fun. <laughs> you got the hang of that, no problem. I love it. <laughs> Cool. We can come to a stop. So you can tell having some electric bike experience I think helps a little bit. So Catherine got the hang of it no problem. We got it fitted perfectly to her body. Let's move on to our next rider. Okay, now I'm here with Shaniqua. She's five foot five. She has 32 inch inseam and 19 inch arm length. Shaniqua, if you wanna go ahead and step on the bike, we'll get it fit to your body. Okay, actually the seat looks 
good. She's got good leg extension on the downstroke. She'll be able to get good power. Um, and her arms actually look pretty nice and relaxed to me as well. How does that feel for it you? It feels perfect, in my opinion. Yeah. I go for a ride. <laughs> <laughs> perfect. Yeah, we got her back nice and upright. She's in a good ergonomic position. Her arms nice 90 degrees. So I was able to hit that one right on the mark with my pre-adjustments. So let's watch Shaniqua take a test ride. Okay, now Shaniqua's ready for her test ride. Okay, so have you ever ridden a tricycle as an adult? No. And have you ever ridden an electric bike? No. Okay, so first time for both. Exactly. <laughs> and have you, um, when's the last time you rode a bike, a regular bike? Uh, probably about like a month or so ago. Okay, cool. Yeah. All right, so tricycles are totally different than regular bikes. Okay. Sometimes when people get on, they tend to overcompensate because with bikes, you have to balance on a trike, you don't. So just right. make sure this wheel stays straight. Got you. And okay. when you turn, you can trust the trike because you're balanced. So you can turn it like as much or as little as you want. Okay. Um, there's no balance involved. <laughs> yeah. Okay. My only suggestion is when you come into the turn, just shift your body weight a little bit to the direction in which you're turning. Okay. And when you turn, don't pedal while you're turning, just coast through the turn. When you're done turning, then you can start pedaling. Okay. And uh, while you're riding, just keep your fingers like that, just so in case you need the brakes at any time, you're ready to go. Gotcha. So you can just go up to the red van and kind of make a little U-turn. So it just goes on its own? like. Well, you're just in regular bike right now, so oh, I want okay. you to get used to riding it. <laughs> okay. And then I'll give you the electricity. So come up a little further. Okay. And then go ahead and start making your U-turn. Uh, okay. Now just trust it. You can turn as sharp as you want. Yep. Okay. Yep. Okay. Yep. Ah! <laughs> okay. And then keep it right here. Okay. And then you're just going to go down here and then make a U-turn. Oh, okay. This is pretty easy. <laughs> All right. Go and make a U-turn. Yep. Oh, break, break, break. I'm yep. breaking. Keep turning, keep turning, keep turning, keep turning. Yep. And just too soon. <laughs> no, you're good. Now stop there. All right. No, you did great. Okay. Okay. Now I'll show you the electricity. So. We're gonna put you in level one. So there's got, this is your assistance. So when you pedal now, you're gonna get some assistance from the motor. Okay. Or let off the brake for a second. If you push this, Ooh. it's gonna go automatically. Okay. So however hard or soft you can pull the brake again, however hard or soft you push this, that's how much power it will give you. Okay. Um, you can do either or. You can pedal and let it assist you or you can pull the throttle. Gotcha. When you're making a turn, don't pedal okay. and don't pull the throttle. Just okay. coast through it when you're done turning, then Got you can. It. And how get. fast does this go? It'll go up to 18 miles an hour. I won't do that. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so you're all set. Go ahead. All right. Do you feel it kick in? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> all right. Slow down. And yeah. Make a turn. And then on the back straightaway here, you can hold the throttle down a little more if you want. Oh, okay. That's the assistance. Okay. Woo! Okay. <laughs> okay. Not what do you think? Bad. Yeah, I can do this. Yeah. I think I need this on a beach. You guys want to give me one of these? <laughs> <laughs> you have to talk to the uh, promotions giveaway okay. department. Cool, so you figured it out. I figured it out. I like this. I need this in my life. Cool, I like yeah. to hear that. Yes. All right, well, well Shaniqua figured it out. We got her fit. Let's move on to the next rider. Okay, now we're here with Anna. Anna's five foot six. She has 33 inch inseam and 20 inch arm length. Anna, if you could please get on the bike and we'll get it fit to your body. Perfect. Actually, it looks really good. The extension on her knee on the downstroke looks great. Um, she'll be able to get nice power. And the handlebars, actually, I think, how does that feel for you? Feels pretty good. Yeah. yeah. It looks great. She's got her arms in a nice, relaxed position. Her back is totally upright. Um, I think she's all set up to ride. So I'm not going to make any adjustments. So I was able to pre-adjust it perfectly to her body, in my opinion. So let's go ahead and watch Anna take a test ride. Okay, now Anna's ready for her test ride now. Have you ever ridden a tricycle as an adult? I have not. <laughs> okay. And last time you rode a regular bike? Uh probably like a year ago. Okay. It's been a minute. All right. <laughs> and yes. have you ever rode a electric bike? No. Never. Okay. Never. Okay. We're going to start slow. Okay. Get you used to this. So the course is going to be, you're going to go straight to that red bus, make a U-turn, stay out here so you can U-turn back to this position. Okay. Now on tricycles, a lot of times people have a tendency for the wheels to come like this. Just make sure you keep your wheel straight okay. until you're turning. And when you turn, 
you can trust the bike. You can turn as sharp as you want. The bike's not gonna tip over. Um, it's not like a regular bicycle. You don't have to keep the wheels moving. When you come into the turn, stop pedaling, coast through the turn just to get used to it. And then when you come out of the turn, you can pedal again. And then when you're riding, just keep one of your hands, like when you release the brake, keep your fingers just like there. that so you're ready to pull the brakes at all times. Great. And, uh, and then when you turn, I like to lean into the turn to shift some of your weight into the turn a little bit. Okay, yeah. can do. All right. Great. All right. Yep, there it is. Yep, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> so you're just going to want to make yep. sure you steer it. Oh my gosh, why is that happening? <laughs> I think it's because it's on a two-wheel bike, it doesn't work that way. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and then try just going a little slower. Yep. yep. Trust me, you're not the first. Why? Pull to the left. There you go. What? I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, you're good. You're good. You're good. There you go. Slow down a little bit. There you go. And then just coast for a second. So you can get, you now turn, there you go. Just get used to that. Now pedal and just coast. You don't have to get too fast. There you go. <laughs> I'm so sorry. No, okay. you're all good. This is, this is the reality of getting used to a trike. Cool. Nope. <laughs> That's why I was try try not to even pedal. Just get on yeah. and coast. There you go. Here, let me, there you go. Yep. Yep. Okay, now brakes. <laughs> hey, it's I'm all good. So it's sorry. all good. No, you're good. Okay. Turn around. Now turn, 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 turn. There you go. Yep. Yep. Let off the brake a little bit. Yep. There you go. There you go. It's different, right? It's very different. <laughs> all right. Take That's two. why I explain to people because I think there's an overconfidence to think, oh, I can do this. Oh, I can do it. Yeah, I can ride a bike. <laughs> well, it's a trike. A trike. <laughs> now I can ride a trike. Well, she figured it out in less than 30 seconds. See, even though you get on, it's a little difficult. It just takes a little getting used to. Okay, now go ahead and make another U-turn. There you go. Okay, then come to a stop here and I'll introduce you to the electric. Great. Now we're really pushing our riders to, we're taking them from not knowing how to ride into electric very quick. You can always get used to this a little more. Okay, so we'll turn on the electricity. Now, you don't have to keep pedaling, right? So if you do a pedal, you can coast a little, right? You okay. know, so, because if you keep pedaling, that motor's gonna keep working and I don't wanna see you get out of control. <laughs> Um, so you're in level one. So okay. either when you pedal, it's going to assist you, or you can go ahead and let off the brake all the way. Just tap it real quick. Okay, now stop. Now pull off. So this will this output will dictate how much, how hard or how soft you push that throttle. Okay. When you come into the turns, just pull off of that if you're going to use that. Um, don't pedal it all into the turns, like I said, and just keep this hand at least. You don't have to engage the brake. If you engage it, the motor will stop. Okay. But just keep your fingers ready when you should just need it. Great. And uh, yeah. Go ahead and give it a shot. What do you think? This is great. Very easy. Can you feel it when you're pedaling, how it kicks in too? Yeah. Pick up a little bit. That's great. There you go. Do you want to make one more loop? Sure. Or... <laughs> there you go. There you go. Now you got there the hang of it. There you go. Yeah. That's so fun. So it's a lot different than a bike though, Absolutely, right? Absolutely, yeah. But once you got used to it, easy, fun, no problem. Yeah. Cool. All right. Very fun. She figured it out. She went from having trouble in the beginning to using the electricity at the end, no problem. So let's move on to our next rider. Okay, now I'm here with Ray Ann. Ray Ann is five foot seven, 32 inch inseam and 20 inch arm. Yeah. Uh, so go ahead and get on the bike okay. and we'll go ahead and adjust for your body. All right. Ooh. 
goodness. Okay, and you said hold the hold brakes. Hold the brakes, yep. Okay. Okay, now let's see on the, okay, so I think we need to put the seat a little bit higher. Okay. Because I want to see a little bit more extension. So if you want to get off really quick. <clears throat> and again, I try to pre-adjust the seat based on what I think, but everyone has different inseams, which makes it a slightly different adjustment. Okay, let's go ahead and try that. Okay, so okay. get back on for me one more time. That's good. Okay. Beautiful, okay. And I think we can tilt the handlebars up a little bit for you. Go ahead and hold those grips. Hold You're good. Grips. Okay. And they're gonna loosen so you can pull Whoa, them up. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> uh, I'd say there. Okay. Does that look right? Yeah. Okay. It's really about adjusting for comfort for your body. We have these four custom adjustment points. Okay, there we go. All right. So we've got Ray Ann in a nice ergonomic <laughs> position. How do you feel? Good. I think. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Great. Yeah. It looks good. So now we can see her take a test ride. Okay. Rayanne's all set for her test ride. Now, have you ever ridden in a tricycle as an adult? I have actually. Oh, you have. Okay. But not an electric one. Okay. How long ago did you ride the trike? Mm, six months ago. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. Um, but never an electric tricycle. No. How about an electric bike? A long time ago. Long time ago. Okay, good. Well, you'll, you're one of the few people so far with some experience on a <laughs> tricycle. So well, I, just, I, don't, I don't know if that's going to mean anything. <laughs> we'll see. A uh, couple tips. One, when you turn, I like to lean into the turn. Okay. And then also when you're riding, just keep your hands like that, okay. like ready on the brake okay. um, if you should need them. And um, when you go into the turn, don't, mm -hmm. I don't like when people pedal into the turn get through the turn, coast through, and then pedal when you're kind of coming out of the turn. Okay. You know what I mean? Sure. So you can ride, just go in a straight line here and let the red bus just make a U-turn. Right now? Yep, go okay. for it. sounds good. We'll do non-electric right now, and then okay. once you're comfortable. All right, and then don't pedal into it, you said, right? Yeah, just kind of coast into it. There you go. <laughs> All right, cool. looks like you've got it. Now you can just do a straight line and do the same thing. Go back there, make a U-turn, okay. and come back and then we'll introduce you to the electric. All right, beautiful. Okay, so now I'm gonna put the electric on for you. Okay. Oh, it's so exciting. So we're gonna keep you in level one. So you have two options. One is when you pedal, it's gonna give you the assistance. Okay. Or you can just push this and let the bikes, let off the brakes with your right hand. It's just going to go for you. So if you want to do the same thing, make sure don't do the throttle into the turn. Okay. <laughs> just throttle okay. up, coast, turn. So if you want to go up to the bus and go ahead and do the and same thing, do, like th whichever one you want. Oh, you, you have to hold it down? Yeah. Okay. And however much you hold it is how much power you get out of it. Oh, that's so cool. Ah, it's so fun. <laughs> oh you my can gosh. make one more loop if you want. Uh, I do want. I like that it says how fast I'm going. That's yeah. cool. All right. Oh my gosh. What do you think? Super fun. <laughs> cool. Yeah, that's very cool. All right, well, Rayanne had some experience. She nailed her test ride. She got used to the electric. So let's move on to our next rider. Okay, now we're here with Liz. Liz is five foot eight. She has a 33 inch inseam and 19 inch long arms. Okay, Liz, go ahead and get on the tricycle and we'll get you fitted properly. Okay, so her knees look a little too bent. Oh, <laughs> so I'm actually gonna go ahead and raise the seat for you. So if okay. you wanna step off a second. So let's go ahead and raise this up. So we make sure she's getting good leg extension. I think right about there. So go ahead and you can step on the pedals first to get on if that's helpful okay. as well. Just hold the brakes. There you go. How does that feel? That feels good. It feels tall. And then I think we can actually, let's raise these up a little bit for you. Okay. 
So go ahead and hold those right there. Does that feel better? Yeah. Bring this down. Okay, go ahead and hold them for me. Okay. And now we can also, let's tilt these up a little. So hold on to the handlebars. They're gonna drop a little bit, okay. or the grips, I mean. Gotcha. And then feel, find where you like that position. You can tilt these up or down. We got here? Yeah, okay. Perfect. Okay, so we've got Liz in a good upright riding position. So we're gonna get her set up to take a little test ride now and see how she likes it. Okay, we got Liz perfectly fitted. She's gonna take a little test ride here and make a loop. So go ahead, Liz. Okay. Her first time ever riding a tricycle. <laughs> oh. There we go. <laughs> Off to yeah. a great start. Try That's okay. I see what you mean about the turning. <laughs> okay, there we go. There you go. Oh. <laughs> Here, let me turn that. Let me turn this off. So this is part of the e-trike. This is part of the electric trike. Okay, now you're in zero, so you can okay. just pedal. Okay. Now turn it left. There you go. Okay. Yep. There you go. Get ready to hit the brakes a little. There you go. Just to ease into the turn. Okay. Okay. I see. Okay. Yeah, that's fun. I see what you mean about the balancing turning. <laughs> yeah, it takes a little adjusting. Now go ahead and circle back here. There you go, hit the brakes. There you go. Now, if you want, try this. Now okay. try going back, make the same loop and just use the throttle. Okay. Push it with your thumb and see. Woohoo! Get ready to hit the brakes too as needed. It's different than a bicycle, huh? Totally. <laughs> <laughs> now that I, I have to trust it, now, yeah. now I trust it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, totally. That's fun. Cool, yeah. Well, we got Liz fitted perfectly and she took her first ever e-trike ride. Let's move on to our next rider. Okay, now I'm here with Bianca. She's five foot nine. She has 34 inch inseam and 22 inch arm length. Bianca, if you wanna get on the bike and we will fit it to your body. Actually, it feels okay. great right there. Yeah? Now your leg looks like it's maybe a little too extended, so I may loose, I may lower just a touch. So if you want to get off just for one sec. Now I try to pre-adjust for every height on what I'm believed to be the right height. Let's just try a little bit down. Let's try that. Okay, go ahead and give that a shot. I think that's just gonna give you a little more bend so your leg doesn't hyperextend while you're riding. Okay. There we go, I like that a little bit better. And how do the handlebars feel? They feel great. Perfect. So yeah, we've got the handlebars up and a little bit tilted up. Bianca's on the taller side of our women riders, but you can see her back straight. She's in a nice ergonomic position. I think she'll be set up perfectly to ride the e-trike. So let's go ahead and watch her take a test ride. Okay, Bianca's all set for her test ride. So have you ever ridden a tricycle as an adult? I haven't. Have you ever ridden an electric bike, period? I have not. Okay. A so scooter. Okay, so you've never ridden an electric tricycle then? No. Okay, so tricycles are different. When's the last time you rode a regular bike? Uh, a few months ago. Okay, definitely different than a regular bike. There's a tendency for people to be pulled like this. Okay. So you just make sure to just keep that wheel straight. Okay. And remember, you don't have to balance because there's three wheels back here. So you can trust that when you turn, the bike will stay on the ground. Okay. One little tip is if you turn to the left, just put your weight into the turn a little bit. Okay shift onto your, your, your like left butt cheek. Like motorcycle kind of thing. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Um, and uh, that's about it. So we'll get you just doing it like a normal tricycle and then after you get comfortable, we'll put the electricity on for you. So right. you can come up here, just make a straight line and then you can do a little U-turn. Okay. There you go, turn a little bit this way. There you go. Oh, oh am I not turning a little Oh, you could turn there, that's fine. Oh, I was like, I don't. <laughs> 
trying to follow your direction. <laughs> no, it's okay. Here, go back. You can go a little farther up. Okay. So you tell me when to stop. Yeah, yeah. Right at the red bus, just go ahead and make a U-turn. Okay. There you go. All right, you're a natural. It's like riding a bike. <laughs> and then if you want to just come up this way and then make another U-turn so we're, or Which you can way? come up here and then just turn around so you're facing back this way. Okay. Ooh, I think, wait, 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 no, okay. Okay, <laughs> you're going I got down, it, there I got you go, it, there I you go. It, I got it, I was like, wait, I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> There's a little bit of a slope here. Okay, so come to a stop right here. I'll walk you through the electric. Okay. All right, so. Now make sure when you go into the turns on the tricycle, don't pedal. Let kind of coast through, and then once you've fully turned, then you can start pedaling again. Okay. So this is your assistance level. Now when you pedal, the motor is going to help you, okay. or you can push here. Let go of the brake for a sec. It'll do it automatically. Ah, so I don't even have to pedal. Yeah, so you can go ahead and same thing up to the bus here. I don't want to. This is kind of fun, bro. How's that? It feels good. And then just don't let yourself go down this dip. <laughs> there you go. Yep. And then you can try pedaling too and oh. see what it feels like to. Oh, it feels like really loose. All <laughs> right. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> we could do this. <laughs> All right. Bianca's flying. She's got hey, it. Hey, this is actually pretty fun. <laughs> All right, you can come to a stop. What'd you think? Well, you thought I, it was fun? I like it. I actually like it a lot. <laughs> How was it getting used to the electric and the assist? It was very easy. Cool. Yeah, yeah, you did great. It was awesome. Awesome. Well, we took Bianca on her first ride. She did amazing. Awesome. Let's move on to our next rider. All right. Okay, now I'm here with Samantha. Samantha's five foot ten. She has 35 inch inseam and 23 inch arm length. Samantha, if you could get on the bike for us. Sure. We will see how to adjust for your body. Okay, now I can see her leg is a little too bent down here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and raise the seat up. The handlebars don't look too bad, but let's go ahead and raise the seat so you can get proper leg extension if you want to step Absolutely. off completely. And with the quick release, it makes it so easy to do it yourself at home. So Samantha's one of our taller riders today. Let's try right about here. Okay. Okay, go ahead and give that a shot. Great. Okay, that looks a lot better with her downstroke on her leg. Now, I think on the handlebars, what we can do for you now, since we've raised her up, she's sitting higher on the bike, obviously, the trike. So they're going to loosen. So go ahead and tilt them up. I was thinking somewhere maybe like there. Yeah, that feels great. Okay, cool. Oh, slide it back just a little bit. There we go. And then go ahead and tighten this. Oops. Perfect. So now we've got her in a nice upright ergonomic position. Her arms are relaxed and uh, she's got great leg extension on the downstroke. So let's go ahead and watch her take a test ride. Okay, Samantha's all set for her test ride. Now, have you ever ridden an electric bike? No. And have you ever ridden a tricycle as an adult? As an adult, never. Okay. So I take you've never ridden an electric tricycle. Correct. Okay. So she's a total beginner. Um, never ridden an electric bike, never ridden a tricycle. We're going to take her from zero to 60 today. Not really, zero to about six miles an hour. <laughs> so a couple tips. One, when you're riding, just keep one of your hands like kind of like that so mm -hmm. you're ready to pull the brakes as needed. When you take turns, try to shift your body weight to the, to the butt cheek that you're turning into. So if you're turning left, just a little bit, just to keep the balance and the weight of the trike. One thing you should know about trikes is you don't have to balance like on a two wheel bike. Okay. So when you turn, just trust that the tricycle will stay on the ground. Sounds good. Um, and you're, you can turn the wheel, you know, like as sharp as you want. Okay. And keep the wheel straight. You, sometimes it tends to pull for people. You just have to keep that tire lined up going straight okay. and you'll go straight. So let's first try without any electricity. So if you want to go ahead and start pedaling. Sure. And then I'll follow along with you. There you go. Oh, it does kind of. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. And then just slow down a little bit and make a circle, make a U-turn. 
There you oh. go. And then just come back to the beginning here. You can stay over here a little bit. Give yourself some room to make a U-turn. And when you come into the turns, just hit the brakes. Okay. And then go ahead and turn, 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 turn. There you go. Wow, that's a sharp turn. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Okay, now stop right here. Okay, so she got the trike riding down. Now let's show you the electric. So it's right here. So I'm going to leave you in level one. Okay. Um, there, that's going to give you assistance when you pedal. Or, move your thumb for a second, you can just push this, or let go of the brake. Oh! So you can try now just going up here, you're going to feel the pedal assist, and you can also try the throttle a little bit as well. Now, okay. when you go into the turns though, uh -huh. don't pedal and don't do the throttle, just slowly. Once you're coming out of the turn, then you can start pedaling. Got it. Okay. Cool. Oh yeah, I definitely feel <laughs> that. That's so interesting. Oh. <laughs> Now hit the brakes. <laughs> now, if you want to go straight a little farther, you sure. can. And try the throttle. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Here, yeah, I'll it takes a, a little getting a used to on how to keep it straight. All right. There we go. There you go. Oh, cool. Yep. Now brake, now turn, now you can pedal. Yeah, there you go. Cool. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> I want one. Now if you just want to bring it back here. Of course. You got it? Yeah. <laughs> cool. Samantha did it. How'd you, you thought it was fun, obviously? Yeah, it was so fun. <laughs> Different than a regular bike, huh? Yeah, I loved it. Cool. That was great. All right, so let's move on to our next rider. Okay, now I'm here with Arlie. She's five foot 11. She has 36 inch inseam and 23 inch arm length. So one of our taller riders here today. So Arlie, if you wanna go ahead and get on the bike and we will see how we can adjust it to fit your body perfectly. Okay, so her legs are a little bit cramped, I think. So I'm gonna try to actually bring the seat even more higher up for you. So if you wanna get off for a second, we want to make sure her legs aren't too cramped. So if she is choosing to pedal, she's getting good leg extension and um, power on the downstroke. So let's go ahead and bring this up. Okay. Let's try right about there. And we have a really long seat post. So the benefit is you're really able to adjust the height for varying riders. Okay, go ahead and try that. Oh. Good, that looks great. So you can see now she's got good leg, leg extension on her knee on the downstroke. Actually, her arms look pretty relaxed. I think what we could do is maybe just, okay, hold those, because when I loosen it, they're gonna drop. So go ahead and tilt them now to a position maybe up. Does this feel a little better being higher up or oh. lower? Find wherever you feel is good. Probably right about. That feels great. Okay, perfect. Perfect. So there we go. Arlie has 36 inch inseam and 23 inch arms and we've got it dialed in perfectly for her. How does that feel for you? Feels amazing. Cool. So let's go ahead and see her take a test ride. Okay, now Arlie's all set for her test ride. Now, have you ridden a tricycle as an adult? I have not. Okay, have you ever ridden an electric bike? I have not. <laughs> okay, so, and I assume never ridden an electric tricycle then? No, but I'm okay. really excited. Okay, cool. So it's different than a two wheel bike. That's one thing I like to tell everyone. You have to trust that the bike will balance um, and you have to keep the wheels straight. Sometimes it, you, people get pulled this direction. So just make sure you keep the wheel straight um, and trust that you will balance. In addition to that, when you're riding, just keep one hand like they're loosen up this one. Just keep one hand there ready to pull the brakes just in case you need them. Okay. And when you take turns, lean, lean a little bit of your body weight into the turn. Yeah. So that way you can keep the balance of the trike in proper order. Um, and then that's really it. We'll have you test it one time without the electric and then we'll let you feel the electric. So just try to keep it straight and then come up here and make a turn and come back here and I'll follow along with you. Cool. So go for it. Oh, this is awesome. <laughs> all right, there we go. You got it. I've Good. I've this all week. <laughs> 
There we go. <laughs> okay, so now start to make your turn and then just lean a little bit into the turn. I feel like anybody would buy this after riding it. <laughs> oh, you got it. Cool. And then just come back to that position. And actually, if you want to turn around, if you can kind of turn around and get yourself pointed back that way again. There you go. Okay, cool. So now I'll go ahead and turn on the electric for you right here. Wow. So there's two ways to ride the electric. One is with pedal assist. So right now you're in level one. So it'll give you one level of assistance or you can just push this throttle right here. If you want to move your thumb really quick, I'll just show you. Actually, let's see. Might need a little more power. There you go. So you'll see when you hold that down. Oh, you have the brakes on, that's why. Oh. <laughs> Let go of the brake really quick. Yeah, let me show you. Okay, so now when you pull, there you go. See oh, how wow. it'll move. Yeah, so we'll put that in level one. So if you wanna go ahead and do the same thing you just did, when you come into the turns, stop pedaling and don't use the, can you feel the assistance? Oh yeah, <laughs> that's really cool. And you can try just doing your thumb too. Yeah, you make a turn now. This is so cool. <laughs> well, one of these. And if you want, you can turn around and make one more loop. Yeah, there you go. You don't need to pedal at all. Oh, wow. And if you want, you can turn around again. There you go. Perfect. Arlie's a natural, obviously, at the <laughs> trike riding. Cool. So at five foot eleven, Arlie was a good fit, and you enjoyed it. Oh my gosh, I love it. <laughs> cool. She was already telling me she wants to take her cat on rides with her yeah. in the basket. He's so. gonna go right here on the way to my school. <laughs> awesome. So Arlie did it. She got fit perfectly. Let's move on to our next rider. Okay, last but not least, now I'm here with Tasha. She's six foot tall, 39 inch inseam and 23 inch arm length. So our, our tallest rider today with the longest inseam of 39 inches. So I'm excited to see how Tasha fits. So go ahead and get on the bike for us. Okay, so you can see she's got great leg extension here. So the height's able to go high enough for her. Now the handlebars do look a little bit low. We've got her in a nice ergonomic position, but I think to relieve some tension off her arms, we can go ahead and loosen these so they're gonna drop. So just, okay, so now let's go ahead and tilt them up. I'm thinking, yeah, I'm thinking like somewhere, maybe like that. Does that feel better than it was um, or worse? Probably that feels a little better. Okay. And I think we can try to, now she's obviously sitting up very high on the bike because of her height. So we can try to actually bring these up just a touch. Let's see if we can bring the bars up any more for her. Oh yeah, that's great. There we go. Let's try that. Okay, there we go. This is, how's that feel? Much better. Yeah. Perfect. We got her in a nice ergonomic position. Her arms are relaxed. She's got great leg extension at six feet tall with a 39 inch inseam. We still could get the electric trike fit to her body. So let's see how Tasha does on a test ride. Okay. Now Tasha is going to take her test ride. So you've never been on a, have you ever ridden a tricycle as an adult? No, I have not. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever ridden, ridden an electric bike? I have. And okay. it was a scary experience, but I feel like by the end of the day, I kind of had it. Okay. So, yeah. All right. So this is an electric tricycle. Now, one thing I will say is a tricycle is much different than a bicycle. You have to trust the steering. When you steer, mm -hmm. you don't have to balance. Okay. And, uh, but you do have to keep the wheel straight. Okay. So we're going to start you out without the electric on. So if you want to just go in a straight line and just pedal it like a normal bike. Okay. Do I have this closed? Or? You got to take those are the brakes. Let go of the brakes. Okay. There you go. Now keep it straight. Oh Turn gosh. the wheel. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Keep it a little slower, a little slower, a little slower. There you go. Just get used to the steering. There you go. 
Okay, now get ready to use the brake. You want to keep, there you go, if you need them. Now make okay. a turn. Can you come this way? Ah. You got it, you got it. Keep going, you're good. Trust the balance. Ooh, this car Oops. is trying to kill me. <laughs> okay, watch out. <laughs> Okay. There you go. Ooh. Okay. Now go ahead and stop. Now the one thing on a tricycle too is when you get going a little faster, you want to make sure you're leaning into the turn to keep the weight of the bike in the proper position. Now let's go ahead. I'm just going to turn you this way. Okay. Now we're going to let you try the electric. Okay. Just make sure you keep one of your hands kind of like loosen up. Yeah. Always try to keep one hand kind of like that. Yeah. Just in case you like need to pull the brake. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so now we'll put the electric on. Okay. Now again, we're taking her from not riding a tricycle as an adult <laughs> to riding. Okay, so I'm just gonna put you in level one. Okay. This is your throttle. Um, throttle is how I, get, how I go faster, right? So it'll give you pedal assist, mm -hmm. or you can just push this right here. I'll just demonstrate for you. Move your thumb for a second. See how it'll just go? Okay. So you can use your thumb, there you go. You can regulate your speed by how hard or soft you push that. Yeah. And if you can start making your turn. Now, don't do the throttle into the turn, only out of the turn. There you go. Okay. Now come back. Perfect. You starting to get a little more comfortable now? A little bit. Now that I know, I remind myself that I have three wheels. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Ooh. Yeah, if you can turn, maybe go to the right. Well, that's okay. You're okay. Sorry. <laughs> oh, oh my God, I did not want to. No, ah! you're good. You're good. You're good. Keep going. <laughs> this is just a little sloped right here. And okay. so for beginning riders, sometimes it's a little more challenging. Now you can also, if you need more assistance, mm -hmm. well, you're good now. You want to try one more lap? Yes. <laughs> okay. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Tall and scary. <sighs> All right, Tasha successfully ah! did it. We got her fit and she took her first test ride, our six foot rider with a 39 inch inseam. What'd you think? I had fun, you know, <laughs> I, I liked it. It was a little scary, but I feel proud of myself. Yay. Different than a regular bike. Oh, huh? very different, <laughs> very yeah. different. No, you did great. For her first time, she did great. It is an adjustment with e-trikes. Once you get comfortable with it, though, it becomes like second nature. So. so that completes our sizing video for the Every Journey electric tricycle with our varying heights. If you have any additional questions, please reach out to us at 630, the team at 630.com, or call us, 310-982-2877, or you can comment below, and we're happy to answer. And if you're in the market for an electric tricycle, go to our website, 630.com. You'll find them under our electric bikes page and tricycles. And if you don't know what electric bike or trike is right for you, take our body fit quiz. Our proprietary algorithm will recommend the perfect bike for your body and your life. It takes just a few minutes and you answer a few simple questions. In addition to that, we have a test ride your e-bike policy for 30 days. If you don't love your e-bike, send it back. No questions asked, no money out of your pocket. And before you purchase, download our app and join our Facebook peddlers group. You can talk to actual riders before you purchase, see photos of their bikes, ask them questions, make new friends, and on the app you can see people logging actual miles with the bike you may be interested in. It's a great place. Then once you have your bike, it's a great place to make friends, share your rides, and see what other riders are doing. So thank you for sticking around, and don't forget, it's your journey, your experience. Enjoy the ride.